Hey guys, welcome back to another theory video. Um, again, we're going to be talking about Visage, which is the new uh, psychological horror game that's going to come out next year, I believe. I believe it's March 2017. It is the spiritual successor to uh, Silent Hills. And today I wanted to talk about um, one of the entities that you see a lot in the promo of photographs and the teasers. Now, um, as far as I can tell, there are three entities, that, whether they're ghosts or some sort of malevolent spirits. I, I don't know what they're supposed to be. I will find out in the game. But there are three that I have seen. Um, one in particular I want to talk about is probably the second most prevalent one, or not prevalent, prominent one that you'll see, and that's the little girl. I find her probably the most interesting because of the way she's been depicted. Now I think it's pretty safe to assume that this little girl is a victim of the house, one of the many deaths that has occurred. Um, the thing of it is, is she comes in two forms and I find that kind of odd. So one form we see probably the most in the photographs is the one where she's sort of got that weird, like you see it a lot in J-horror, she's got kind of this pose where her head is kind of cocked over to the side and she's kind of swaying on her legs. She She's very much in the same sort of posture and position that uh, Lisa from PT was in, where she's got sort of the elongated limbs. I mean, if you look at the character closely, you can see that she's got like little girl arms and legs, but the upper part of the thigh seems to be much longer. I'm guessing that this is purely a aesthetic choice. I can't figure out why this character would be deformed in such a way, but in any event, I know that the taller version and the shorter version are the same character, one because physically in the face and the hair looks like the same character. You'll also notice that on the nightgown that she wears, the blood splatters are in the exact same place. And she's missing her jaw. So I don't know, like I've been trying to look at those photos very, very closely to figure out what happened. It looks like maybe they were, her jaw, her lower jaw was torn off. I don't know what kind of, I'm assuming she's some sort of assault victim, being the nature of these type of games, but even if there was an accident, I'm kind of wondering how this happened. I, I believe Juan, um, uh, the, um, I believe the American version was The Grudge, uh, had a ghost character who was missing her lower jaw, and I'm wondering if that maybe was inspiration for this character. But uh, in particular, I've noticed, uh, I've been looking at her blood splattering on her um, nightgown, and something I found pretty interesting, if you look, particularly on the photo of her, which I, I'm going to upload these photos that I'm looking at, which are all, all come from the official website, um, so be sure to check them out. I'll provide links in the description below, but um, particularly in the image of her hanging from the tree, there is a prominent blood splatter on the lower part of her dress. Now, there was a Korean horror film that came out uh, believe in like 2006 or some sort of that or some such thing and it showed two girls, two uh, twin sisters uh, sitting on a couch and they had blood on the lower part of their dress. They were wearing a white dress too um, and it symbolized the fact that they had entered puberty and that was important to the story. So I'm kind of wondering the age of this character. Like at first it looks like a little girl but if you go and look at the pictures of the child's bedroom and I'm assuming this is the little girl's bedroom because in the picture I'm going to post you see the, the bedroom and then you see the little girl kneeling on the floor it looks like she's drawing something or examining something on the floor it's kind of hard to see because she's in shadow I'm assuming this is her bedroom now on the outward appearances this does seem to be like a little girl's bedroom there's a lot of stuffed animals um, and such but if you look at the books these books are not something that a little girl would read uh, you've got Moby Dick and uh, Hannibal and Hannibal is definitely not something you're likely to find on a school 
reading list, I could be wrong, but I would think at least until high school, you're not going to find that on a school reading list. I mean, maybe in the fifth grade, you might read Moby Dick, but I can't imagine too many kids enjoying that book. It's kind of heavy, if I remember correctly. Um, so that's kind of confusing me a bit. Also confusing me is looking at the pictures. Like if you watch the teaser and even looking at some of these images of the little girl's bedroom, you'll notice that um, there are several children's drawings and they're very, very basic. Like this looks like something that maybe like a four-year-old would draw. Um, and this little girl, I pegged her to be maybe 10 years old. Like, if if she has entered puberty, I'm guessing somewhere between 10 to 14 years old. She has very minimal artistic talent, <laughs> to say the least. So I'm wondering if maybe she might not have some sort of disorder, maybe? I don't know. Like, again, the books on her shelf are fairly advanced, I think. But her drawings are very, very minimalistic. And I just kind of, I don't know, it's, it's a little confusing. You'll see um, in her bedroom, she's got this little um, purple, it looks like one of those, I don't know what they call them, the, the little horses that you rock on, I guess a rocking horse, which is like a little, little, little kid's toy, like a toddler's toy. So it's kind of, I don't know, kind of odd to me. I'm trying to figure out like I, I don't know like how old is this child supposed to be now you know maybe they're showing her in different stages like Silent Hill a series which this game will uh, supposedly take some inspiration from uh, particularly Silent Hill 1 and Silent Hill 3 you saw um, Alessa at a couple of different stages in her life because each one that you saw was significant. So I'm wondering if this little girl is the same way. I, I don't know. But it's, it's, it's interesting to note. And I'm kind of curious what anyone thinks when they're looking at these pictures. But I, I find it kind of puzzling. Um, again, I know that this is the 80s. And I think reading lists were a little bit more advanced for schools but I don't know I just I can't see a little girl enjoying Hannibal uh, also something really interesting I want to point out kind of off topic um, if you look at the picture of her standing in front of the doorway of the kitchen the viewer is looking through something and I can't figure out what they're looking through if you'll notice to the right there is an I don't know what you call it, but you can see that you're peering through something. I don't, I don't know if it's supposed to be some sort of container or what that is partially covering you. I'm guessing you're hiding. But now I've tried to look at pictures in the teasers to see what's on the other side, like what would be directly across from this door that you could hide in. And I think there's a table, but I, that doesn't look like part of a table to me. It doesn't look like you're under t the table. You're you're too up too up high I think so I don't know if you've got any thoughts on that please let me know but um, again I'm sorry I'm rambling I've been a little under the weather today I woke up with a fever and it's just now going down so um, but anyway I, w I wanted to share uh, my thoughts on this character I'm I definitely definitely look from seeing her in the the teasers and from seeing her so prominently shown in the photographs I'm thinking that we are going to see this character a lot and she's definitely creepy I don't think anyone will ever be as creepy as Lisa from PT was I mean she gave me nightmares like you wouldn't believe but uh, <laughs> I definitely won't lie the scene in the closet where you turn around and there she is gets me every single time so uh, anyway, let me know your thoughts, and um, I will see you next theory video. Bye. Hey guys, I just wanted to add a little postscript. So um, I was reviewing the video to uh, upload, and uh, something else that occurred to me. Um, again, if you recall, I talked about how I believe that this little girl is an assault victim, and that she has 
a very uh, dark blood stain, very large dark blood stain on the bottom of her dress uh, above her pubic area. Well, um, anyone who's ever played Silent Hill 2 um, knows that the character Angela was uh, sexually molested by her father. And this is represented by artwork in the game that uh, depicts a figure with um, blood, a dark red spot over its perceived um, pubic area. So it's possible that that is symbolic that maybe she is a a child who um, was molested or sexually assaulted. Uh, maybe there's incest in the family. I mean, it's, it's a very dark theory. Um, but again, this is a psychological horror game. So I'm expecting just all kinds of grisly circumstances befalling the fate of the people that lived in this house. So um, again, it's just another theory. And um, the reason I, I mean, it, it's likely that that could also be a, a probable theor a probable outcome is because, again, this game takes inspiration from Silent Hill. Silent Hill 2 is one of the best games in the series, and everybody empathized with Angela, and it was very, very apparent what happened to Angela in the game. I mean, so it's possible that that happened to this girl, too. Again, she, if she was murdered, she was murdered horribly. So, um, but I just wanted to put that thought out there. Um, again, I, I think that the fact that the blood stain is so um is and that specific spot is important i think that the developers are trying to tell us something whether it's the puberty thing or um possible rape uh, we won't know until we see the game but um It'll be interesting. It'll be interesting. Let me know what you think in the uh, comments section. And again, I'm sorry that I'm rambling so much. Like I said, I'm my medicine's starting to <laughs> wear off. And I've been very ill. But um, again, I'm, I'm very interested to hear any theories that anyone has. Um, I love talking about this game. I'm, I'm so excited for it. And I'm just eagerly awaiting any new news for this game. So um, thank you for listening, and if you like this video, please give it a like, and um, bye!